find the arithmetic mean of the numbers 6, 7, 5, 8, and 9. Find the arithmetic mean of the number 6, 7, 5, 8, and 9. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's class, I will teach you how to find the arithmetic mean of the following set of data using two methods. The first method we are going to consider is direct method and the other one is call assumed method. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Now, solution. The following set of data is referred to as what? Ungrouped data. Now, this is ungrouped data. We want to find the mean of ungrouped data. And from, our, in, from the previous class, we have mean, arithmetic mean, arithmetic mean x bar to be equal to summation of xi over n because here are the corresponding value of x that is the, the value of observation our n is given as how many times does 6 appear in 1 7 appear in 1 5 appears once, 8 appears once and 9 appears once that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5. Then our x, let's get our summation xi now. It will be equal to what? 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. That is 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 is equal to 35. xi is equal to what? 35. Then our mean now. This is the right method, remember. Our mean, x bar, is equal to summation xi over n, which is equal to what? 35 over n. That is, our mean, x bar, is equal to 35 our n is what? 5. From here, our n is what? 5 over 5. Our mean, x bar, we got to what? 5 here, 1. 5 in 35, 7. 7. This is the right way, and we all know how to calculate our mean with this. But the second method we are going to consider, which is step 2, is referred to as Assume method. Assume method. Now, step two. We want to compute the arithmetic mean of the following set of data using assume method. Now, assume method. Now, solu solution. Mean using assume method is given as mean x bar is equal to a plus summation d i over n. Therefore, where our a is assume mean, where a is assume is let's see from the no set of data we have x to be 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. If you pick 7 to be your a, you will get it right. If you pick any of the value, but let's always consider this larger part. That is, adibin is group data. We'll consider the one that has the highest frequency. But in this case, let's pick between 8 and 9. But I will consider 8 for this case. Let's our a is equal to 8. Let's our assume to be equal to what? 8. Then our d is s minus what a or d i is equal to what summation of what x i minus a therefore We have our xi to be what? 5, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's form small table here. X I. Our D, which is equal to what? X minus A. First one is five. Second one is six. The third is seven, fourth, eight, and the last is nine. Remember, this is on group data. Now, our D is giving us, we said, X minus A. X minus A. Our X is what? 5 minus our A is 8. A is equal to 8, which is minus 3. Then for the second row, we have 6 minus A minus 2. The third is 7 minus 8 minus 1. Then we have 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. Then we have 9 minus 8, which is equal to 1. Now let's sum it together. Di now is equal to what? Minus 3 minus 2 is equal to minus 5. Plus minus 1, that is minus 6. Plus 0 is equal to 0. That is plus 1. That is minus 6 plus 1. It will give you minus 5. Therefore, summation of di is equal to what? Minus 5. Then our mean now. Mean x bar is equal to a plus sum of di over what? n. That is, x bar will be equal to our a is 8 plus our di is minus 5. Our n is 5. n is 5. Our n is 5. Which is equal to x bar. Because we have 8 into 8 plus minus 5 over 5. x bar, we got to what? This 5 will cancel this 1. 8 plus minus 1, which is got to what? 8 minus 1 which is 7. You can see now that when we use a zoom method, we also get 7. You see that formula. A zoom method, you see this formula? You see this formula? We got our answer to be 7. So, then, therefore, mean using a zoom method is equal to seven. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the class. In our next class, we are going to consider the mean of group data using direct method, a zoom method, and coding method, coding method. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe so that you can enjoy the class. Thank you.